It is National Girl Scout Day, and we had the great honor to meet a woman from Lynn who's been involved with scouting for more than six decades. And at 99 years young, she is not stopping. And that is good news for young girls and the many volunteers that keep Girl Scouts alive. That's a troop number that they belong to. We thought it was only appropriate to meet Dot Macchione at the Girl Scout Museum in Waltham, a repository for Girl Scout history which began on March 12, 1912, when Juliet Gordon Lowe organized the first Girl Scout troop in Savannah, Georgia. The second troop began two years later in New Bedford, Massachusetts. At 99, Dot is part of that continuum. She became a scout leader 60 years ago. And I've always been happy to be a part of of it because it means so much to the girls to have you know maybe a little guidance from somebody that's a little bit older and she's never stopped continuing to volunteer over the years she's received just about every award a volunteer can get but in everything she does the girls come first let them see that what good is out there for them what chances they have Dot is an incredibly special volunteer. Carrie Weatherby works with the Girl Scouts of Eastern Mass. When we think about the Girl Scout mission, what really stands out to me is that Dot is truly a sister to every Girl Scout in Eastern Massachusetts. This is my husband. He was a Girl Scout too. Dot's message to the young people? Be yourself and do the best you can and always be there for somebody like they are for you. So devoted. Mm. And we asked Dot how long she'll stay involved with the Girl Scouts, and she said, as long as they'll put up with me. <laughs> and we think that is forever. I love her. And by the way, I think maybe being a Girl Scout leader and a Girl Scout volunteer has kept her healthy yes. all these oh, years. Absolutely. It gives her a purpose, and she obviously loves doing it. Being around young people mm. and uh, so, so great for girls to be involved with scouting. Wonderful. I love